Hi friends, welcome back. In this module, we'll go through the setup for getting started with Angular. But before we do that, let's take a moment to discuss pacing. We're going to go through a lot of steps during our time together through this course. So I would encourage you to pause this video at any time, get caught up, and then resume the video when you are ready. Please take all the time that you need. All right, let's get you set up for development with Angular. First, you'll need to install Node.js so you can use the Angular CLI and have access to NPM, the Node Package Manager. In the browser, navigate to nodejs.org to find download and installation instructions. Now, be sure to choose a version that's either active or in maintenance long-term support mode. Your installation should include NPM. Now that Node and NPM are installed, we're ready to install the Angular CLI. From the command line, run the following command. npm install dash g at angular forward slash CLI. When the installation completes, we can confirm that our installation was successful by running the following command from the command line. ng space version. The output of ng version should contain information about the installed version of Angular on your machine such as the Angular version, the Node version, the package manager version, and even the OS being used. Now, this tutorial is using Angular version 15. So to be helpful, we've already created a starter project for you, and the next step is to download the code to your local machine. Let's choose the location for the code. Now, I'm gonna put my code in a directory called projects on my computer. But for you, you can choose the right location for yourself on your system. In a browser, navigate to the following URL, goo.gle forward slash homes dash app dash start. Now we're downloading a zip file of the starter project. When the download is complete, extract the code to a directory named home stash app and a file location where you'll be storing your code. Now with the code downloaded and extracted, the next steps are to, from the command line, navigate into the homes app directory and then run npm install. The last command will install all of the dependencies needed to run the application. We can test out this application right now using a development server hosted right on your computer and provided by Angular. Here's how. From the command line run ng serve. This command starts a local development server. Now it gives us a URL that we can use to find our web app running. That URL is localhost port 4200. Let's open that URL in the browser and find our base application. Awesome, we have a functioning web app that we can edit to make changes so that it can have the features that we want. Now to edit our code, I'll be using VS Code. Now, I'm also going to install an extension called the Angular Language Service by the Angular team. That'll give us some extra tools when writing the code and it'll help us be more productive. We've included links to everything in the description for this video to help you get started. Let's launch VS Code and open the directory containing our project. The starter code has created a lot of files for us, so let's take a moment to explore some of them. First up, we have angular.json, which allows us to configure our project. There are settings for things like build configuration, internationalization, and more. There are a few more important configuration files. There's package.json for our project dependencies and tsconfig.json for TypeScript settings. Now, Angular components have TypeScript a class for logic. Now, this is where we configure the rules around how TypeScript is used in our project. Now, that's a little bit beyond the scope of our course, but it's good to know that this exists. All right, here's where all the magic happens the SRC or source directory. Our application code lives in this directory and when we update our application to include new functionality, this is the directory in which we'll make our changes. Let's take the first step towards customizing our application. 
we're going to update the existing app to display a new message in the browser. App.component.ts contains the HTML template code that determines what's being displayed on screen. Now, we're going to learn all about components and templates soon, but for now, we'll start by opening this file and making an update. The template property has the text, hello world. Now, let's update the text and change it to hello universe. Save this file. Because we have the development server running with ng-serve, our web page will refresh itself automatically. And there we have it. The application now displays the text, hello universe. You've just updated your first Angular app. I have something special for you. High five from me to you, nice work. Whoa, we've done a lot so far, friends. Up to this point, we've been able to install the Angular tooling, the Angular CLI, use the built-in development server to automatically load our changes in the browser, and even updated our first Angular application. Now, that's a lot of great progress, and I think that you should be very proud of yourself. In the next section, we're gonna create the homepage for the application and bring everything closer to reality. So I'll meet you there.